In this series, I'll be talking about three ways to get into the rogue camp, some ways to survive once you're in the rogue camp, loot spawns along the way, as well as PMC spawns, and just other tips in general. I'll have timestamps down below also, so feel free if you already know some stuff, feel free to skip around. On this map, what these mean are obviously the different colors mean the three different routes you will take. Today I'll be going over the beach route in the red. The lines are just the routes that you'll take to get there. The X's are points where you'll either have to deal with rows or just the spots that you end up after the route and then you can decide where you go after that. And then finally, the black circles at the end are the extracts. Road to military base is a big car extract. So it won't always be there sometimes, or people can take it, and it'll be gone. Armor train, just like on reserve, it will honk twice once it gets there, honk once once there's a minute left, and then it will honk twice when it leaves as well. The easiest one to take if you have it, make sure when you spawn in, check if you have northern checkpoint. This will be the safest and easiest way to get out. In this particular practice raid, I got this spawn right here that's marked on the map okay so this is the um, other beach spawn and so there's one in front they spawn at those houses up in front so there can't be people in front battery car battery right in there so like in those little broken braids you can find some good stuff um, tools, uh, tools, materials, stuff like that. They can find some good stuff. And, uh, the car probably won't have something. It did last time. It had the, the military radio. But it usually doesn't have anything, especially when, or it usually doesn't have stuff when there's no one in the raid usually does have stuff, but sometimes it does not, even an in rate. So, I'm not quick. Alright, let's see what we got this time. Nothing. Which was what I expected last time. But, got a military radio. Alright. Let's try the skin. First time I overpeaked the machine gunner. Hopefully this time uh, the GL guy is up. I can show that. So 200, 200 sighting range. And get a little bit. All right, now we'll go. Okay, he is up. This guy's scary because it's loud. <laughs> I think I got him off the gun. I don't think I got him. Oh, there's one thing you can do. I think task update. So I should be at seven on this task. If, uh... Okay, I did get him. Task do update and offline, but they do not save progress. So I'll just check this. Alright, I got him. Now I'm just gonna run. Oh, shoot. Alright, we're down. We're down now. Crawl. Or I'm, I'm in a different spot, so you kind of just have to peek. I'll give it a little, little extra time for a peek. Yeah. But 30 seconds. Peek. Got him. Alright. 
basically just don't if that guy's shooting at you don't peek it because he will just beam it give it 30 seconds a minute he'll de-aggro and you can give it a peek what you do not want to do is go up there because building one if you go up here building one guy will shoot at you once you're up by the truck i'm pretty sure and then if you try to go up here not only will you get shot by the machine gunner but you'll blow up to mines there's mines all along this right here all right so usually like to weave and wind through here go to this spot check the roof first that looks clear so then i look by this door actually can go outside this door or by this car and it won't like there's any and then there's some sometimes in front of the building by this truck these few don't look like any and be out in front over here don't look like it and be on the roof be in this little parking spot parking place once you've cleared out these guys in the front over here what I like to do is go into building one head across the street go through building one make sure there's no one here still go through make sure you clear out this machine gun right here and then just travel along this fence to building two deal with any rogues in here there's usually one to two rogues in each building sometimes there's one once you do that and go through make sure you clear out this mg if you want to head out from there you got loot or whatever just head out over here and then just make sure you quickly run through these gates because there is a machine gunner right here and if you're not quick get you there's loot in one of these crates stems and uh, high value items and just head along this side over past here you can wait for armor train if you don't have a uh, northern checkpoint but if you do just jump up on these logs and just head out you always can take the car as well if it's up you can see if it's up from back here if you want to keep going through the road camp you can just head out building two make sure building two mg is down from here and then just head into building three then if building two mg is clear you can head up onto the roof of building three this mg guy is clueless if you go up there so you can go up there take him out pretty easy then from the top of the roof you should be able to clear out any machine gunners if you didn't already get them including the GL guy head down if you don't have if you don't want to take armored train that's all right you can always just head out on this road to path the shoreline another thing to watch out for is if you're running through here make sure you're along the road when you're over here because if you walk through this field right here you're gonna blow up to landmines and when you're over here trying to go by this helicopter make sure you're going through the through the road to get to the helicopter because there is mines right here in the front obviously don't go up the beach over here don't go over here on the side by these front machine gunners or else there's there's mines right here on the map you can see any of these red circles or minefields if you do go up at the at the front you can go and hug this fence and be safe or you can now go and loot if this gl is down you can go and loot in the middle there there is rogues on the ground over here and over here sometimes so be careful of that in the middle i wouldn't recommend going in the middle but there is a quest where you have to plant a marker on the helicopter and looting these front guys can be risky because it's usually player scavs and PMCs are up there too. If you're trying just to extract from here, you can just go along the coast and you won't be shot by any MGs as long as you're hugging the coast the whole way. 
Or if something goes wrong, you always can go back the way that you came from and then just head along the coast and go to Southern Road. And really the choice is up to you. What, whatever works the best for that raid or whatever you're trying to do, whatever quest you're doing, you should be fine with doing whatever you want. Just make sure that you get those machine gunners down and rogues down or else you'll have a tough time. 